baby, what's your name? What's your title? What's your sign? Know the shooter from the block, pick you up around nine. Feet and nails done with the heels in the dress. Maneuver to your lips while I whisper you the best. Kisses on your neck, on your chest, on your flesh. What's next? My baby said you better come correct. What's up there? Cause it's a big old box. What's next? Huh? What's next? Big old break her crib. And we have to go to Target and tell the people how we need it. Well, everything goes in the car. And then this right here, over there in the elevator with me, we're going to go up. <laughs> we're going to go up. Yes. We're going to drag it across the floor. Yep. And then we decided to do that. You said what? Little brother. Yeah. Whenever we decide to have another baby, it's going to be the How boy. How about you get pregnant? How about that? I'm talking about four or five years. Though. How about you about get like pregnant right this time? Let's have you. Let's have you carry the baby. You going to open the door? Just leave right there. Well, I need you to open the door so I can go to the other one. It's more, it's multiple packages. Look at oh. you. Look at you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I think you should put the mail down. Oh my God. Hi. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go this way back to the car. Voices. I'm saying hello. Like, Y'all hear them? They loud. Okay. Oh my god. If you're wondering, I blew out my hair and I also. Oh, child. Ghetto. Hold on, y'all. Alright, get myself together. When I said that just now, I don't know why it made me think of, um, I bet you won't run up. I bet you won't. <laughs> TikToks are funny. Okay, y'all. So, we received some packages. And... <sighs> about to do a haul. I'm about to do a haul for you guys. Oh, child, it's too. Oof. I don't like chaos. Chaos stresses me out. There was too many cars coming too many different directions at one time, honey. Um, even though I'm about to get out the car, I got my seatbelt on because my car is gonna make a noise, a very annoying noise. Because I drive a Toyota, and Toyota believes in safety. Thank you for that, Toyota. I do appreciate the safety. But it is stressful when I'm driving and I am I am hitting my brake, but I'm not braking fast enough for you. And so my car just decides we're going to slam on brakes. And then I run into my steering wheel and don't even know what's going on. Like, it's a long story. But anyways, um... So I'm about to do a haul for you guys. Um, just like, I guess, I don't know what we're gonna call this. I'll figure it out in a second when I get the title together. But um, we, it's gonna basically be an update just to kind of show you guys what we already have for baby girl. So, um, I hope my hazard's on because he's following my real close behind and go ahead. I hate when people drive like idiots. Get your up. Sorry, y'all. Don't pay me no mind. If you live in North Carolina, 
I'm praying for all of us because y'all folks can't drive. <laughs> they cannot. Ooh, someone's having a sentimental moment. Okay, so we're about to go. Sorry, I hope that wasn't loud. We're about to go do this haul for you guys. So basically, long story short, this video is just, I don't know what it's gonna be called yet, but we are going to be doing a haul, showing you guys so far what we have for baby girl, like I said. Um, <laughs> shout out to my sister because she is the bestest. She, she has really been on her auntie stuff, y'all. She's so excited. That's like my best friend. I'm just, uh, I'm just so happy that I have a sister like you. <laughs> to be there for me and look out for your already your niece who's not even here yet but you already like <laughs> you on it girl she probably looking at this like oh my gosh she's so dramatic but <laughs> i love you so 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 much i can't stress it enough thank you for everything that you do for me thank you that, for everything that you are doing or have done for your niece um and even aj even though it's not necessarily always directed towards him but he is affected in a way and he really appreciates you and even though him and i are not married yet he does consider you his sister so we both just love you very much and we just thank you so so much now it's not to say nobody else has done anything or to discredit anybody else godparents um and extended family i'm not saying that it's just so far my sister has gotten like the most stuff i'm gonna take this stuff inside it's the first time we've been home all day because we were at work so i need to get my stuff out the car hey guys welcome to the case family i'm gonna show you guys Channel to be very transparent, and part of that is just showing that people aren't always happy, and that's okay. What's small to you may be big to me, what's big to me may be small to you. I'm at work right now, I'm supposed to be changing into my uniform, but long story short, I'm upset this morning just because I'm a little stressed out. Long story short, a couple months ago, I, was, I got really behind in life and on bills and stuff like that. And I finally got caught up with my last paycheck, my most recent paycheck. And even though I got caught up, you know, it's that saying where it's like something always happens or it's always something. Last night I started to notice that my car was sounding a little off. And then this morning, um, Drew was driving me to work and I heard a really weird noise. I think it's just my brake pads after I talked to my dad about it. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> I put all of my money, which maybe this wasn't a good idea. Um, and I acknowledge that. But at the time, I just really wanted to catch up on my bills. And so with that being said, I don't have any emergency money at this moment. And my other source of making money involves me driving my car, which I cannot do, or I would rather not do because I don't want to make my situation worse. He saw me crying because he made me really upset. Because like, well, how am I supposed to get money for something when how I would have normally made money is using the something that needs to be fixed. And it just turned into a domino effect. I was supposed to go be visiting some family for Thanksgiving, but it's a long distance trip. And so with that being said, again, can't drive my car. It was just the fact that my car is like how I get to and from the job I'm at now. My car is how I can do my side hustles. I'm talking to you guys through a screen, but in this moment, I'm like basically talking to myself. And it was just like, in this moment, the only person that could calm me down was me and make myself feel better because I was about to have an emotional breakdown. So as much as I don't want to be here, I'm going to suck it up. Yeah, I'm just gonna do my job. I just wanted to come in here and show you guys. Like, again, a lot of YouTubers show like this glamorous side. People are so happy and like it's so perfect, and it's really not. Um, I'm a new YouTuber, so there's not really nothing glamorous about me. But even if someone thought it was, or thought, oh, she's always so happy, 
it's not. If you're gonna make fun of me because I was crying, that's fine. Don't say anything if someone makes fun of you for crying about something that you were upset about. Cause it's not nice to laugh at people when they cry. Comment down below if you know how I feel. <sighs> All right, bye y'all. Hey you guys, so. <clears throat> oh no, I don't know what Can y'all tell I'm waddling? Waddle. <sighs> Yo. I'm so tired. <clears throat> huh. Goodness. I am really exhausted. It really wasn't that long of a day, like I told y'all. I had a short day today. Hello, beautiful. <clears throat> Say hi to the blog. Say hi to the blonde. Hi. She's like, nah, bro. It wasn't a long day, but, cause I got, I got off work at three. I went in at 10. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Wasn't too bad. But y'all saw I had a little, a little breakdown. But I'm okay now feel a lot better things are gonna happen we just have to stay calm and figure out how we're gonna figure it out i'm actually about to watch some Grey's anatomy um oh there's a little box y'all saw that in the hall y'all know what that is uh i'm about to sit here and watch Grey's anatomy i haven't watched it in a while but that's one of my favorite shows and it's like i've seen the season i see every season all the way through about three times now so now when I watch it, I kind of just watch it as like a pastime, but it's still just as interesting. And I kind of pick up on little details here and there that I didn't notice the last three times I watched it. So this will be, this will be my fourth time through, but not all the way. I kind of just catch it on whatever episode I catch it on. While I'm doing that, <clears throat> I have laundry, laundry, reorganizing laundry. And then in our closet, there is now a pile of laundry that has to get washed again. So, about to do some laundry. I'm about to organize these drawers. Before y'all say anything, why are you doing that? Yeah, like these are so, they're not heavy. They're actually very light. I could pick them up myself with no problem. Um, I'm just, I'm a very like organized person. I, I feel like, I have a slight bit of OCD, a slight bit. Um, I don't like chaos, like y'all saw earlier. I don't like chaos. Chaos stresses me out. It just, like, ugh, like all this rubbing and stuff, chaos. When I feel like my life is in chaos or my house is in chaos, I don't know what to do with myself. So I'm trying to just like organize my life. <clears throat> but I'm gonna get all this little laundry done clean my counter off, organize these drawers, watch my show, cause period. Um, at least get that done. That's my main focus for days, get the laundry and stuff done. So I'll see you guys later. <gasps> All right, so, oh my, okay. Alright, so we've made progress on the laundry. So it's on here. And we're starting to organize a little bit over there. Hold some more. There's nothing on the couch though. So that's good. Still watching Grey's Anatomy. And um I made my own little ghetto chicken parmesan. Um so I just took some spaghetti noodles, some marinara sauce. And some sliced sandwich cheese from the fridge. But look, in my head, it sounded good. So when I thought of it, that's what I wanted to eat. So that's what, that's what I did. That's what I did. Um, and then in here, I had some water, but I added some like Gatorade powder. It is really good. Like, it tastes just like Gatorade. It's real good. Um, I've been drinking water all day, so I wanted something with some flavor. And then if I'm still hungry after this, if little mama just eats it up, I have a nice salad with some salmon. 
in the fridge. So, sorry if that's loud. My TV, be, my TV gets really low, depending on the show I'm watching, so I turn it up. It's getting good. Hey, Tudor. Too good at this. The fire alarm went off. They're like really sensitive in this building and I don't know why. So I opened the oven to take out my chicken patties and the little puff of hot air that came out set off the smoke alarm. So it was loud and she ran away. All right. I'm sorry y'all, this show is good. I'm gonna eat my food. I'll be back in a second. Oh, okay, I'm about to make these cookies or this dough, whatever. I need some, um... all right, it's fine, whatever. I need to um, <clears throat> see a visual of this recipe, not a TikTok, because what she did when she made it, I don't know. I'm a visual learner, so I need to see exactly what she did with the um, brown sugar and the butter because the math was not mapping. And I know, I, I told y'all, I know I did something. Like it was something I didn't do that should have been stated that you should do. I think I didn't let the butter and sugar thicken up enough. I think that's what I did, but I don't know because that's not, she didn't say, I don't know. This is the part that I need. I found it. Shout out to Rosanna Piancina. Okay. Do not let your butter get room temperature. You just need cold butter. She took, a, she took the amount of butter she needed, chopped it up so it was cold butter, and then she put the brown sugar in the bowl with the butter. Mixed it up until it was lumpy. I did say that. I did say that, okay? It needs to be lumpy. But it can only do that if the butter is cold. My butter was room temperature when I used it in the video on Wednesday. So we're gonna correct that. On low speed. All right. I'm gonna time glasses. Y'all can watch. Hold on. This is what it looks like this time. If you recall, it looked more like smooth, like peanut butter, but now it's a little more lumpy and thick. So I'm putting it in the fridge for two hours. Okay, I'm gonna put all this up real quick. Good morning, guys. It is Friday, November 19th. Uh, it is 8.30. I'm about to get up, get dressed for work, and then head there. Before I go, I just need to try one more load of laundry. I'm probably gonna make some oatmeal for breakfast. And then, um, yeah, and then I head out the door. I told you guys yesterday that my transition, something's wrong with it. So I'm not gonna drive my car. So unfortunately, I have to wake up this one over here. I don't know if I see it. You probably can't see it. He covers his face up. But I wake him up. But take me to work. I hate waking him up. He got home late last night. And he loves to get sleep. I'm gonna get up now and take this little kitty out. Cause she, she wakes up at like seven in the morning. And she'll like meow and all the time but she's saying, Mom She's just ready to go in the hall or in the living room so she can play or eat her breakfast. I need to get her some breakfast.
and oh, so we're at work, but it's the next day. Um, kind of changing my clothes in front of you guys, but you don't know that. It is now Saturday, and I am so sleepy. Oh, my hair looks like a mess. I still need a haircut. All right, we are dressed. Just put my shoes on and put my hair up in a ponytail. In a ponytail. One second. Thank you so much for tuning in to this morning rush of getting dressed. See you guys in a second. Hey guys, oh my god, and we're back. Finally off of work, ciao. I told y'all my car needs some work done. So I gotta drive my boyfriend's car for the meantime. Right, y'all, his car is scary. His car scares me. <laughs> Why do you ask? Because, first of all, it don't scare me, but it's just, it's so different. It's just so different. You know, like, we just used to driving your stuff, your car. You, you used to driving your car. You used to have your car drive. You know, how much gas it takes. You know where all the buttons at. And it's, it's not like that here. Don't get me wrong. I'm not ungrateful whatsoever. I got something to drive. I'm trying to get some gas because somebody didn't do it before he came to work today. Normally, I had y'all on the dashboard, but I can't even do that because he don't got the little dash thing. So, I can't put y'all on the board. Don't be annoying. Oh my god. I don't care about a car wash. I should have just went because y'all just gonna take y'all time. Going in the d move! Yeah! I'm on the way. Anyways. I am about to, excuse me, go door dashing. My hair like a mess, even though I brushed it. I didn't brush it, I tried. With my hands. Yeah, I'm about to go door dashing for a couple of hours. I really don't know how long, cause earlier I was not feeling it. I was like, I'm not going, I don't care, I'm not going. And now I'm like, I don't know, I feel okay. <laughs> I think it's like, you know, you be at work for a long time, and you be like, like, just being at work makes you tired. Not even like you're actually tired. You just don't want to be at work. So I don't know. Like I said, if I'm gonna DoorDash very long, but if I don't, I just go home and do the laundry. But I am off tomorrow and Monday. Um, my friend Yana might be coming over, so you guys may get a glimpse of her. We don't necessarily have any specific plans or anything like that. Um, she was gonna come over because she just so happened to be in town. So she may stop by. I don't know how long she'll stay, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that. <sighs> I like to like start in a specific place though. So I guess I will just. I don't know, I might take you guys on some of my deliveries. Obviously, I'm not going to tell y'all, like, the name of the person or their address because that's weird. Don't be weird. <sighs> not the car going off at the dealership. Who trying to steal a car? Uh, so, yeah. I'll just see y'all when I get to my destination. And I may just let y'all tag along for a couple of deliveries. So, all right, bye. What's up, y'all? It is 
actually Sunday, the day that you are seeing this vlog. I am up, I don't think. Not all the way thriving, but we're getting there. This vlog has been very like all over the place. I told y'all. <coughs> Can we get it together? Water, please. I told y'all. Um, vlogging is just something like, I would really prefer to actually be doing something, but as y'all saw, most of the week, I'm just typically, <laughs> I'm typically just working a lot. So y'all saw a little bit, a glimpse of my DoorDash last night. There's a couple of the places I went to. Um, and then you see, like I said, most of the time I need my regular job. The DoorDashing last night was most stressful. I was very frustrated last night because people kept trying me. I had somebody driving in a truck who just kept getting in front of me oh so slowly and then breaking when they didn't really need a break. I don't know, looking back, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. So it's like, maybe she was a new driver. She did not know better. But like, so y'all, if you can't drive, get off the road. Get out the fast lane, shoot. Like the fast lane is not where you should be if you really can't drive. And it was, she was giving her can't drive. And then she made me upset. I gave her like three times. And all three times she made me mad. <laughs> so why was I mad? Cause y'all like to get on people by using that word very loosely. I wasn't mad, I was getting irritated. So I aggressively got over to the other lane and beat that. Then, um, <clears throat> second one, somebody was riding my butt up a very small street. And then when I turned and a car pulled out in front, of me, in front of me in the middle of the street and I had to slam on my brakes. Remember y'all, I'm driving my boyfriend's car. Like I said yesterday, when I drive other people's cars, I drive with extra caution because it's not my car. Um, of course, someone pulled out in front of me. I hit brakes. The car behind me who was riding my butt almost hit the back of my boyfriend's car. They had to slam on their brakes. Maybe you shouldn't have been so close. And if you were really that upset, you should have went around and then you would have hit the car that went in front of me. Then we'd all be sitting here <laughs> having a little chat. Okay, third time. <clears throat> Trying to make this quick. Third time, um, somebody was riding my butt through this super like big neighborhood where there's like a thousand different entrances to different cul-de-sacs of this giant neighborhood. And I was trying to find my way out, like the actual exit out of the entire neighborhood itself. And they were riding my butt the whole time. I could not understand why. So then I turned and stopped because clearly you have somewhere to be. So I'm gonna let you go around. Well, so I'm going around and I beep. I try to like beep people to give them some type of like signal. Like, obviously I can't yell on my window and say, hey, go around. So I kind of like beep, like, mm, go. And they just sat there. And then they got mad because they were sitting there and they beeped the horn at me. And I was like, oh, okay. So we're gonna sit here. Like if I was crazy and I had like excessive measures, you don't know me. Like what if I was crazy? What if I had a weapon in the car? And I'm not saying I would do that. Do not do that. But you know what I mean? Like, people are out here crazy. If you've seen that movie on um, Netflix, I can't remember what it's called. If I remember, I'll tell y'all in another video. But it's basically a movie about road rage and how you should be more respectful to people, like how that guy was not last night when you're driving on the road. A man whole lot stopped a girl because... <clears throat> Because she was beeping at him because he wouldn't go with a green light and he wasn't paying attention. He waited till the last minute to go and she was beeping so rudely at him like that guy was last night. And he literally stalked her and was like killing everybody she knew because he was crazy. I'm not crazy, but what if I had been? You don't know. So I left, I went home, I chilled a little bit, took a nap, and then I went and got a drink from work. And now we're here. I was tired, I slept in. <clears throat> you know. I really need to finish editing this video. Next time y'all see me, my hair will be different though. Not the next, next video, not the next video, but the video after that. All right, so uh, basically today's to-do list, which y'all won't get to see all of it, obviously, because I'll be posting this video. Um, but speaking of videos, I need to edit this video. I have another video I need to edit for y'all. And then I need to, finish sorting through all of this before I go crazy 
<clears throat> because enough is enough. <clears throat> I can't decide if I want to do my hair today or tomorrow. We'll figure that out at a later time. Um, that's really it. Because <clears throat> I don't have much to show y'all. But, um, oh, something I never got back to, right? Hold on. Okay, guys. So, I left the dough in here. And it's just been in here. I haven't gotten into it to like get to it or anything, but it's like nice and thick. It's doughy, like it's really doughy. So I'm probably gonna roll this out as well and make cookies today. Y'all saw the process that I went through. Um, I'm not gonna. Again, I'm gonna. I'm about to edit this video right now, so I'm not really gonna show y'all that. <clears throat> but I'm just gonna make the cookies. How y'all saw me make them in the recipe video. Uh, but just, I just wanted to retry the dough and make sure that it came out correctly this time. So, right there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, all in all, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm going to work on it. I know it wasn't a lot. I know it was really all over the place and kind of like just, it was all over the place. That's all I could say. <laughs> Next time I vlog. It'll be more put together. I'll actually be doing more. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I love you guys so, 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 so much for my subscribers. If you are not subscribed yet to my channel, please go subscribe. What are you doing? Subscribe. Run those last videos up, okay? You get, you get little bubbles that pop up wherever they are on the screen right now. Giving you recommendations. So, please follow through. Please go share as well and like and leave a comment down below i get like the same two or three people that comment and i love them so dearly they're so close to my heart because they're always commenting and leaving great feedback comment down below like this video subscribe and share this channel baby okay and then we can all experience the k simone family all right i love you guys bye